This is Patrice Wendling at the annual meeting of the American Society of Hematology speaking with Dr. Agnelli about the recent results from the Amplify Extension Trial. How big of a clinical dilemma is it when a patient does reach equipoise on anticoagulation and the question of what to do next? Well, it is indeed quite uh, a quite difficult situation because the doctor has uh, lots of uncertainty about whether continuing treatment or stop treatment. Uh, there are some benefits in continuing because uh, they want to prevent recurrence. But on the other hand, there is a quite high risk of bleeding. So this situation really make the patient put the patient in a difficult situation and the doctor too because the, he needs to make a decision about, the, about these two different options. So the one alternative would be to have a safer approach that could allow a standing treatment without paying a uh, high price. And given that uh, the currently used drug warfarin is associated with bleeding, so the option is to have something safer. And your results showed that this indeed did reduce VTEs, a tremendous safety with it apparently. Um, cancer patients are at an increased risk. Would this be something then that could be applied to them? Well, cancer is, uh, is strongly associated with venous thromboembolism in both ways. Uh, VTE can be the first manifestation of cancer and the cancer patient can develop a VTE during the disease and this occurs in about 15% of the cases. In this particular study we had only 1% of patients with cancer so to be honest we cannot apply the results we achieved to cancer patients also because it is quite possible that patients with cancer they require longer treatment so they are not exactly in the position that you described, we described as an equipoise. So I wouldn't say these results can be applied directly to cancer patients. We need some more data for these particular patients. As a clinician, since you saw the benefits with both the 2.5 and the 5 milligram dose, what would you be using going forward? And in whom would you use the higher 5 milligram dose? Certainly there are some patients that may be at extremely high risk those patients that have already had no one but two or three episodes and patients with a quite severe thrombophilia it is something that we can discuss of course we don't have uh, we don't have data we need to use our clinical judgment but certainly we have a different option now the option is to have two doses for the same indication this is the first time we have this uh, possibility because we tried with warfarin and we failed with this agent, we have an efficacy with two doses. Um, and extended anticoagulation has also been tested in two other drugs, including rivaroxaban. Um, what advantage does apixaban offer over those two drugs? Well, um, as you said, it was tested with two other agents, and both were effective. Uh, we don't have a head-to-head -head comparison, so it's really difficult to make a comparison you know, between different trials and among different trials. So it's uh, quite difficult to make a judgment about that. I mean, I can stay with the experimental design of our study. In our study, we tested two doses. Risk reduction was clear for both. There was no increase in bleeding. So I would prefer to comment the data of the Amplify extension and uh, admit that it's difficult to make a comparison among different studies. Now that you know that it's safe to use the extended anticoagulation, what is the optimal duration then? My observation is that although we don't have a definite answer, we certainly have a better tool. We don't want to explore any more on the optimal duration with warfarin because we know the limitation of this compound. Now we have something like a pixaban that can be a good tool to explore whether it's uh, or clinical benefit is standing after one year. So I don't have an answer, but I have something, you know, ideas that uh, our lives could be made easier in, in the future in testing this hypothesis of a longer duration. How would you characterize your results then? Um, landmark? Practice changing? Well, I mean, uh, you know, it's always difficult to judge uh, <laughs> the results of of a study you have uh, been the chairman of. Are you being modest, sir? Well, I, I think it's an important study. I think it's an important study. Honestly, I think it's an important study. It's an important study for the sample size. It's an important study for the experimental design. It's an important study for the two doses. So we have now l a new observation. 
that you can decrease the dose of an antithrombotic agent. In this particular indication, you don't lose the efficacy, and you can potentially have some advantage in terms of practice. So I believe this will change clinical practice. Uh, of course, you, know, you never know, and you have to wait. Uh, the impact of good clinical research is unpredictable, but I'm confident it will.